Hello, hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is my review for Green Leaves. This is season three, episode 10. I thought it was a season finale, but it looks like it's two, at least two more episodes um, this season, which I'm happy about. I'm like, this can't be the end. No, Jesus, not yet. Okay, yes, I'm giving y'all bare face today. Bare face realness. Okay, I have a little bit of eyebrow drawn in. But other than that, <laughs> you know, no lipstick, no nothing. I just did not feel like putting lipstick on. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. <sighs> I'm like, they're going to get this bare face. They're going to love it. Anyway, if you have not done so already, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and become a whole Jaybird. Jaybird. Hey, Jaybirds. Okay. It is a bit warm, so y'all may hear my fan blowing because I have it on. I have to keep my windows closed because I just don't want to be loud with my neighbors. So, if you hear a little rustle tussle, it's my fan because it's like 50 degrees outside. So, it's hotter in my apartment because, of course, the heat is on and I can't cut it off. Because, you know, that's apartment living. Anyway, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and to share this video and all those good things, and also to hit that notification bell to let you know when I have new videos up. I will be live this Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, as usual. I know I said I wasn't going to be live, but I'm going to go ahead and be live. I'll figure out when I'm going to not be live, but I'm going to be live this Friday. <sighs> okay, now all that is out the way. So, we see, this is a really good episode. Like, it was a really, like, it was so amazing. We see May um, emailing the kids who were all adults. Okay, she emailing Grace, Charity, and Jacob. Letting them know that her and Bishop divorce is officially final. They are officially divorced. And she, you know, we got Jacob crying over the email. You got Charity crying over the email. She also sent, you know, um, the email to Bishop. So, they're all reading this email. That basically said, like, we we divorced, okay, but we still a family. We all going to be okay. It's going to be a different family structure, but a family nonetheless, and I love you all. Love mama. So, it was a great little thing. It was a long, I was a girl. Okay, man. Mm-hmm. So, we see Jacob and Chris at the, at the house, you know, Chris, like, I can't believe Tasha quit, and you know what I'm saying? I didn't think that the church would be so out of hand with me not being there. So, I'm taking a day off my job at the school. And I'm going to go down that church and show them who the real first lady is. Yep, I'm taking an office that used to be Tasha's office that should have been my office all along. I am taking that office back. And I'm going to go down there. You know what I'm saying? Just be the first lady that I'm supposed to be. Do you know why Tasha quit? He like, nah, I don't know what. You know, she just packed up and she left. You know what I'm saying? She packed up and she left. I don't know. Lies, 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 and more lies. But the truth is... He can't say. He can't say she packed up and left because she loves me because we kissed one time or whatever. And we got all close to close, close, close. Can't say that. Okay, not at all. Now, meanwhile, at church, we see uh, Grace and Rochelle walk around together. I'm saying they a new dynamic duo. Uh, thing one, thing two with the cat in the hat and all that things. And, you know, as they talking, they see the murder lady. I don't know what the lady name is. I just call her murder lady. So, she's there and she's saying how, you know what? I don't want to go to trial. I don't want a chance getting life. I don't want a chance getting death penalty. I want to take that deal where I have to do 20 years. Where I, I'll get 20 years. I can maybe do 15 and get out because I have kids. And I don't want to be in prison forever. So I want the deal. They like Grace. You should do that. You don't only talk to this attorney. She's like, nope, I made my mind up. I got kids now. I ain't trying to be gone for life. I, I have kids too. I know. And then ends that's Rochelle. You know. I was young. My mom, my mom went to jail, and when she went to jail, me and my sister got into the system, and we were in the system. We would bounce around like hotcakes, okay? Nobody really wanted us or whatever, and that's what happens when your parent goes to jail. You don't want to put your kids through that, so I, we there's a good chance that you can get off, so at least, at least meet with our lawyer first before because you don't want your kids in the system i was in the system you don't want to be there okay you don't want to be there i said oh huh, rochelle 
telling all her business and great show enough listening because I'm like, we ain't know that Rochelle was in the system. We did not know that, nor that she had a sister. Mm-hmm. Key points. So she's like, you know what? Okay, I'll at least talk to the lawyer. The lawyer come talking. He all shucking and jabbing, jabbing and shucking. And it's like, you know what? I would not have taken this case if I did not know for a fact I can win and get you off. I promise you, I can get you off. Don't even worry about it. I'm going to get you off. And so she agrees to not take the deal and to let the lawyer do they do his due diligence and, you know, get her off for the murder. So they all happy, happy, happy. You know, she's happy. Rochelle's happy. And Grace is happy, happy, a little bit happy. But she also, like, you know what I'm saying? I need to make a phone call. Now, she go, she calls Derek. It's like, hey, Derek. Mm-hmm. I got some information that may help us figure out who the hell Rochelle is. Okay? Because Derek, as y'all know, is his name. Derek, you know, Rick Fox. Like, he, he, I think it's Derek. I'm going to call him Derek. Um, But, you know, Rick Fox character or whatever. So, you know, they working together to figure out who Rochelle is. Remember before, he said he didn't, like, nothing came up. So, now they're trying to figure out some more things. So, now, in a whole other part of town, we see what we're not even across town, like across the hall at the church <laughs> at Calvary. You know, Rochelle is still there and she sees Bishop. Oh, hey, Bishop. Hey, Bishop. What's up, Bishop? Bishop, like, hey, Rochelle, what you doing here? Oh, you know, this is a temporary office for, for uh, uh, Grace's uh, fun or whatever. So we just kind of here doing things, things doing us or whatever. How you doing, Bishop? Oh, I'm okay. Uh, he's like, all right, it was nice to see you. So he tries to leave. Wait, Bishop, is the news I heard? Is that true? He like, what news? What, what, which news? Okay, which one? Oh, that you and May are divorced. Like, I heard through the great van, through this van, another van, and all the vans in between, that you and the first lady is no longer an item. Okay? Is it true? He like, yes. I'm, you, know, you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? The truth is, me and May are divorced. Oh, well, isn't that something? Well, you know, he like, yeah, yeah, you know what it is. So like, you know what? We should go have us a little drink, a drink, 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 drink. And I'm thinking Bishop's going to be all sad and depressed a little bit because he divorced from May. And he was like, I would like that. I like that very much. I'm looking like you just digging yourself deeper into the serpent's tunnel. Then we can get you out of you so deep in the goddamn gonna serpent tunnel, Bishop. We can't even see your feet no more, bro. I'm just like, mm, mm, mm. Deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper. So I'm, y'all know I'm a little bit giddy. Anyway, now at Triumph Church, Chris at the church, y'all happy, happy, happy or whatever. And she's meeting the new accountant. And they have been with, out in accounting for about three months now. An official accountant, as Chris had told the new dude, uh, Joseph. Now, Joseph got her little accent out. He may be Nigerian, he may be African. He's something. He's a little cute, little something or whatever. And he's already on his job, okay? He like, you know, I've only been here a little bit, but I can see some discrepancies here and there and how things kind of isn't in order. She's like, yeah, you know, we haven't had anyone here for the past three months, really. He said, well, I can tell you. And she's like, well, what's all this? He had a whole board up. And he's like, well, yeah, this is the issue, too. Like, you know, what's, you know, this account, like, it's, it's something going on here. Like, it's some irregular, it's some irregular activities. She's like, what you mean? He like, well, it looks like Pastor Greenleaf has been transferring money from the church here to this account. She was like, what? You don't say. She like, I don't know what that bite, what that is, okay? So, she looks wholeheartedly confused. So, then she goes to ask Jacob. Jacob, look at this stuff. What's going on? Like, what's this? Is it Triumph Church? Life Church? How is it? Because it's, it's the account for Life Church that has money transferred to it from Calvary's account. And so, he like, I don't know what this is or whatever. You know, I didn't do this. They Tasha, my, I'm sorry, my chorus. Is, I begin all confused. He say, hold on, y'all. I hate when a cord is tight because I just assume it can mess up the This is water. I think this water got me all giddy because it's real delicious. Um, but Ian, he said, you know what, I don't know. He like Tasha brought up something, had me sign some things or whatnot, but I don't recall exactly what it was, but I know I didn't transfer no money. I didn't do this at all. This shirt feels funny too. Um, it says love more. I'm not going what did your shirt say? It says love more. It's the outfit I had on earlier. I took the, took the skirt off. Um, so, he like, again, I don't know what any of this is. She's like, all right, I'm going to call Tasha. He like, no, 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 you can't call Tasha. And then she's like, I told you, Jacob, 
I am here and I am taking over. Okay? She's like, look, I'm first lady. I'm going to make this phone call. Let me be, bruh. Let me be. He like, oh, okay, fine. So when she walks away, he called Tasha up. But of course, Tasha don't answer. Okay? She don't answer. Zora. At least we know Zora is alive and she don't have no new bruises on her face. Okay? So she's sitting with that boy. That boy. That little light skinned ass boy. That little boy up there doing an interview or whatever because he's still a singer. And for some reason, I'm like, why do girls like him when they know he beating Zora's ass? But I mean, it's like, that's the same reason people like Usher. He giving girls herpes. Um, so, <laughs> so he on the station being all fake friendly, fake friendly, fake friendly. And um, talking to the girls like, yeah, you know, I got a concert coming up. Oh, can I get some free tickets? Can I get some backstage passes, please? Can I get that, baby? He's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's hit me in my DM. I'm looking like, and she looking like, you do see me. Like, I'm sitting right here. Like, you flirting out in, in, in my face, bruh. And then another caller call, another caller calls. Now, this caller said, you know, hey, I was on your live that day when you was at the, the Green Leaks house or whatever. Was, is that your girl? Is that your girlfriend? Like, what's up with that? Like, all that drama. Now, he looked nervous. Oh, I don't want to talk about all that. I'm going to leave that alone. Like, you know, she's like, I'm just wondering, like, what's going on? Like, are you, are y'all a couple? She's like, you know, it is what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be. Some whole little roundabout answer, answer that don't say yes, no, or even maybe about who Zora is. So Zora looked pissed off because she's like, why would you not say we're together and I'm here with you? What's up with that? Like, what's going on? And so, as they talking, her phone buzzed. There was a text message from Spellman. He look at her like she just threw the phone at his head. I'm like, she can't control her phone, bro. And it, it didn't even, it like, ding. it was like, ding, ding. That was it. it wasn't nothing big. And he looked pissed, okay? So then the interview ends. And, you know, he like, oh, I'm sorry. No, she said, I'm sorry. You know, I got my, my ringer was on. You're already making too many mistakes. I said, you know what? Can someone beat his ass right now? I mean, just beat his whole ass all up and through the goddamn studio. I'm like, whatever. So later on, at the house chilling, I'm going I'm to do the whole Zora thing right now. Then the house chilling or whatever. She's like, oh, I'm sorry about my phone. Like, I didn't know it was on. Uh, Spellman was texting me because they want me to come in for some interview because I applied to them for college. He was like, we don't matter because you can't go nowhere. Um, why can't I go? Like, we're in Atlanta. Like, what's going on? Well, did you come here for Spellman? Did you come here for me? I'm looking like, bitch, why can't it be both? And she said, why can't it be both? I said, she read my mind. So, you know, he like, you know what? Um, I need you on tour with me. She like, well, for what? Like, you didn't even claim me on the radio. Like, you was girls, or whatever. You was saying the girl was all thirsty or whatnot. You can't claim me on the radio, so... Why can't I also do school? And then he get all mad or whatever. Like, you know, I told you, I need you on tour. And plus, I'm already out here looking crazy because your damn family had me looking crazy. No, bro, you had you looking crazy. You went live. Not them, you did. Okay, you little punk ass boy. Anyway, I'm sorry for the cussing. Um, so he like, what you want me to do anyway? She like, be truthful. Like, tell them that we're together. Like, why won't you do that? You know what? I'll claim you when you act like someone who deserves me. I said, who you talking to, little boy? You, oh, he made me so. I'm my key reading. See, that's some damn light skin tendencies. Okay. Oh, it made me so damn mad. And don't y'all go in my comment section. What you mean, light skin? See, that's the problem what black people say. It was a goddamn joke. Okay. Sorry about the cussing. Anyway, um, he then said with a whole other attitude, and that's I heard Spellman didn't take high school dropouts. Because remember, Zora never graduated high school. She turned 18, but she ain't graduated yet. So she may not even be able to get into college. Who knows? And then he knocked the plate of cake off the table like, you know I'm watching my car. So I'm looking like, well, bitch, that's her cake. That ain't your cake. That's her cake. Oh, punk ass little boy. Anyway, the ending that we see with them is like he sleep on the couch. I'm like, they must not have no real room. Um, he sleep on what well, they do we saw earlier. He sleep on the couch and so she kinda gets the computer. She's like sneaking on the computer and she looks at the thing from Spellman, which is an invitation for her to come like do an interview with them to get into Spellman. So she looks excited about that. So I'm like, at least he hasn't like put her whole fire out at least she does want to still go to school but i mean honestly i was hoping 
when they show him sleeping, her looking like all a little scared or whatever. I'm like, oh, maybe she gonna leave. Maybe she gonna just run away and go back to her mama. But no, she didn't. She just checked the damn email. Oh, stupid ass Zora. We see Charity. I'm gonna do Charity in one fell swoop too. Charity was at church and she meets um, Patty LaBelle. So I can't remember Patty LaBelle. Is it Maxine? Maxine. She meets Maxine's musical director. And this the cute guy who was on Being Mary Jane with Being Mary Jane with Gabrielle Union. It's a guy whose sperm she froze who also had the whole girl. Was, it was, he did it. He was also on Girlfriends. He played the, the basketball, no, the baseball guy who Maya liked. He was also in that movie, the remake, the black version of um, Sleep With The Enemy. He was the husband who beat up the girl. What was it called? I don't know. But y'all know the ball cute man. It was him. You you will figure it out. This is Google <laughs> Google <laughs> the guy from Being Mary Jane who she froze his sperm. Google that. Anyway, he's cute. Okay, he's the cute little ball dude or whatnot. And you know what I'm saying? He is there with her. So they have to plan the music for a day with Lady May and everything. But he like, before we get started on this meeting, like, let's pray because praying makes everything better. And it does. Absolutely. And you can see Trill like, oh, this is a little nice. Okay. He's nice. He looks good. He's into gods. Okay. What can happen from this? And it's a whole little nice little meeting or whatever. So after their meeting, um, after their meeting, he asked her on a date. Like, yeah, so, you know, I was thinking about, you know, we can go out to eat. I heard if there's a restaurant or whatever. She was like, oh, yeah, that'll be great, but I have to get home for my son. He's like, oh, you know, she didn't say, Maxine didn't tell me that you were married. She's like, oh, you think that goes hand in hand? She's like, no, I'm actually divorced. He's like, oh, okay, well, I'll, you know, I'll pray for you. She's like, oh, no, it's okay. He's like, let me mention now because you may see my son's father, this, you know, during this weekend with all the things that's going on. You know, he's gay or whatever. And he said, oh, well, I'll double pray for him because that deceit is susceptible to prayer. And she was like, oh, okay, well, I'll see you later. And you can tell she was not offended, but she felt some kind of way about what he said. Hell, I did too. And I'm looking like, okay, we'll see what this going to be. So we see later on, she at home putting the baby to bed and he calls her. So neither of them was made it to dinner. She didn't make it to dinner because she had a whole son and he didn't go because he figured she couldn't go. And so he was calling her to reschedule. And she's like, okay, that'll be fine. Yeah, we can reschedule. We can meet up later or whatever. And she's happy about it. Because she's happy he called and reached back out and talked to her. But she also was like, you know what? I want to talk to you, you know what I'm saying? Because the comment you made earlier about my son's father, like, about him being deceitful or whatever, being susceptible to prayer, like, that kind of didn't sit right with me. Because at the end of the day, he's my son's father. He's like, well, isn't he gay? She's like, well, yeah. She's like, he's like, and that's a sin. She's like, yeah, but it's, you know, it's... It's more to it than that or whatever. He like, why are you defending him? Like, you know what I'm saying? If he's gay, that you know, that is deceit. And he treats you so bad and you know he you deserve better. And she like you know right, you right. I do deserve better. And I don't think that's you. And she hung up. I said, Girl, go ahead, girl. Get your groove back. Get your groove on. And sometimes ain't with the right person. Like, I like how she basically defended Kevin to a stranger because my thing is you you know what I'm saying capped on her ex-husband not knowing how cool they were like you said it as if she was just gonna automatically be like you know what yeah he's gay and it's horrible no some people everybody don't do that so I think for Charity she realized this is probably what Kevin had been fearing his whole time and I'm gonna be there for him even if it's in private and he don't know I did it but I thought that was a great thing so we do see uh, May and Maxine meeting up or whatever they met up a couple times this episode and each time they kept, you know, was beating up or whatever, you know, we seen them meet up, we'll see a bishop or whatever, you know, we know a bitch, she don't like bishop. And then when her and May was sitting together this particular time, you know what I'm saying, she wants May to have Grace talk at a day with Lady May. And May is completely against, like, I, nope, 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 I don't want to do it. She's like, well, okay, I'll let her talk during my time. <sighs> Maxine, no. So, you know, it's like, you know, Grace is going places. You know, you really, you really need to, you know, use her in your ministry. And May is still completely against it. She's like, what's up between you and Grace? She's like, you know, don't, you know, whatever. At that point, Corinne came in like, Lady May, First Lady. She is not First Lady anymore. She is past the green, okay? She is no longer the First Lady. She is past. I said, well, okay, now give her all the promotion. So, she's like, well, okay. 
pastor in green leaves. Uh, Lionel is on line one. Oh, Lionel. Tell him I'll call him back. And then <laughs> Maxine was like, Lionel, is it a shot? I don't want to talk about it. And it remind me of when a friend know you had sex with somebody and you weren't supposed to. And they like, girl, Big Dick Teddy. <laughs> Big Dick Teddy with one, with one ball. Girl, I don't want to talk about him. It was, That's what it reminded me of. Um, and I was, This is so, girl, look. this I, That was vulgar. But, you know, if you look, I'm going to be myself. And I can't be trying to censor myself. Anyway, so... She avoided the whole conversation. She tells Maxine that Grace will not be speaking. And Babe's like, all right, that's fine. So we see Tasha. Tasha at home, and she's soaking. She at home on the laptop, eating some chips, drinking Jack Daniels out the bottle. Like she is all the way in her feelings. Her eyes is puffy. Her makeup is runny. She like she took no bath or whatever. She's just little flip-flops. And stuff. It was just crazy. So Rochelle pop up. Okay, and Rochelle like, girl... Why are you at the church? Because I quit. I said, Lord, she's so drunk. You did what? What are you talking about? Look, I did what I was supposed to do. That money was transferred. The bishop already took it out. I did that to a good man. I'm done. I'm done, Rochelle. I don't care. I'm not doing nothing else. I'm done. Are you in love with him? No. But what if I am? You know, I can't believe you... You love him after what is wrong? Why not? You know what I'm saying? Why can't if I was with a man like Jacob and not your old <laughs> nothing ass brother, she's like your nothing ass brother, I wouldn't be in this position. You have the ball to say that to my face, okay? My brother out here like risking life and limb to get back to yourself and you gon' I can't believe over here crying over Jacob. I can't believe. You know what? Whatever. You know, base is dead anyway. She like what makes you say that? But he ain't here. And if he ain't dead and he ain't here, then what does it matter? I said, well, guess what that means? That's the truth. He not dead. But he may not be dead, but his ass ain't here with me. So why do I care to be here trying to help him out? He ain't here with me. He, he, he's somewhere else living his whole life without me. And he left me by myself in the first goddamn place. So Rochelle, get out my house. Get out my house. And if you come back, I'm going to call the police. And I might forget which story to tell them. <sighs> Whatever. So, Rochelle, you know, she makes her whole phone call. We got a problem. I say, Lord Jesus, Harpo, you told Harpo to beat me. I feel like she was calling somebody to beat Ro to beat Tasha. So, we see a couple of different things going forward. One, we see Maxine going in to meet with Grace. Grace got this whole lot the fun or whatever. What can I do to help you? What can I do? Um, I can donate some money. I can do some, some promotion. I can bring it up here, there, or everywhere. Like, what do you need? Oh, oh you know, that'll be great. She's like, okay, send me an email of what you need or whatever, and we'll get it done. Okay, that's great. She's like, you know what? I got a question for you. What's up with you and your mama? And she was like, I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> and I have to go. Mm-hmm. Okay. And she left. Y'all know old people in church is nosy. Y'all know that already, but whatever. We also see Derek calling Grace and letting Grace know, hey, I got worried back from a friend of mine or whatever. They found a couple of Rochelles in the system or whatever. But, you know, based on her having a sister, it's only one Rochelle that meets the, you know, thing of her and the person she lived with, the, the, you know, the family she lived with still live in the same house. You want to go for a road trip? Of course I do. Let's go. Vroom, vroom, vroom. So we also see Bishop at uh, Parks' house, of course, because Bishop ain't got no house. He's like, yeah, you know, I can't keep living here, you know, in my friend's house. I'm going to need to find me a, a, you know, a permanent residence. Oh, really, Bishop? I can help you find a place. I'm like, look, Rochelle is just too sweet for comfort, okay? And he like, can you? You can do that. And she's like, of course. I can help you, Bishop. Yes, okay. And they drinking wine and looking into his eyes. And he, she's like, yeah, because, you know, um, we can do things for the future. And he like, oh, like your future and my future? Our future. I'm like, oh, ugh. Bishop's so stupid. Oh, man. Old man. We see Carissa call Tasha. Tasha answered the phone. Tasha drunk. 
Okay, Tasha drunk as hell. And, you know, Carissa like, are you, Tasha, are you drunk? Are you high? <sighs> Carissa, don't be mad at me. You know, I'm a bad person and bad people do bad things. But I'm not really a bad person. But I did do some bad things. She's like, what are you talking about? I'm calling and asking you about the account, you know, the new accountant. It was just a kiss. And she's like, what? It was just a kiss, and I promise you, I'm I'm so sorry. Don't be mad at me, Carissa. And she's like, that's why you left? That's, but you and Jacob, that's why you left? Don't be mad at me. And then she hangs up. I say, girl, you didn't woke a whole dragon dragon. A dragon dragon. You have woke a sleeping dragon, girl. Bye. So, Carissa, go check Jacob. <sighs> How your trifling ass gonna lie to me in the house of God? I say... How you come to the guy's house? Girl, what is wrong with you? Okay. What did I... No, what did she tell you? What did she tell you? It wasn't nothing. And he's saying this with a whole calm demeanor. Oh, it was nothing. She was drunk. She was drunk as a skunk at, at 4 p.m. or whatever. And her drunk ass told me it was just a kiss. So you said it was just nothing. She said it was a kiss. So what was it, Jacob? What was it? He like, it was a kiss. It was just a kiss, but the kiss was nothing because I shut it down because I don't cheat no more. I'm a faithful man now, okay? I'm a faithful man. Oh, you're faithful to yourself, okay? Not to anybody else. That's why I zero left. He's like, oh, that's my fault. Now I'm the monster. <laughs> I had that monster part, but he did say it's all my fault. Okay, well, maybe me, your son, your lady, too, Jacob, was you. I cannot believe you. A man is supposed to be the strong tower to hold up the family. You a twig, Jacob. You, Jacob, you are a twig, okay? Not even a twig. You are a puddle. I said, you put your husband from being a twig to a puddle? The whole time she talking, he looking like, see... So I'm the one to blame, right? And I think what Carissa fails to realize is even though Jacob is a fuck up, he is a fuck up. Um, she, she still has a way where she degrades him as a man. And I feel like that's the reason he was cheating in the first place because, and it's not right. I'm not saying it's right, but I'm what I'm saying is if you make your man feel like less of a man, he may go out and find someone. Who makes them feel more manly? Okay, you should be happy he went out and found a woman on the man. Let's be, let's be honest. Um, that's in here, no, there. But again, I don't like how she talks to him when she does get upset. That's why he later on be going messing with people because you keep degrading him. Like, it's a way to be upset with your husband or just not be so manly. Like, I feel like sometimes, and it's not because she got a manly face and a, and a haircut, because I think she's a beautiful woman. But sometimes I think she gets too deep down and so that I am I can do whatever, whatever, whatever. And I'm going to, you know, just dog him out because I'm mad. Like, it's still a way to do things to where you don't want him feeling like, you know what I'm saying? She don't even respect me. But this, this woman respects me and she makes me feel, she makes me feel good or whatever. So that part, you know, was kind of making me mad. But she has every right to be pissed off. I understand she don't. Anyway, as they arguing loud in the God's house. Okay, they is in God's house arguing. Jacob, not Jacob, Joseph walks in like, oh, I can come back. I'm sorry. They're like, no, what is it? Just come on in now. He like, well, you know, there's over $200,000 missing from Calvert, no, from Triumph's books or whatever. And the 200 was transferred into that Life Church account. And that money from there has now been um, withdrawn. And I can't figure out where it went. Now they know it's a whole... It's a whole issue. Okay, it's a whole thing. Ooh, what's going on? We don't know what's going on. We see Grace and Derek get to this woman's house. Okay, it's a whole white woman who look like she may live like in little trailer park area or whatever. And she like, y'all drove witnesses? And they was like, no, 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 we're not. Um, we're coming here asking you about you know a girl who you you know was fostering years ago. Oh, really? She's like, yeah, you know, it's about Rochelle Cross. She's like, Rochelle Cross. I don't know that name. She's like, oh, well, she would have had a sister. She's like, oh, the sisters. Yeah, Rochelle and Tara. Yeah, the sisters. But the last name wasn't Cross. She's like, oh, was it? What were their last names? Um, Rochelle. It was James. Yeah, the last name was James. Rochelle James. She was like, Rochelle James. I said, I oop. It's coming together. 
is coming together. Okay, all up and through. We then see Grace go to see Bishop. Bishop with the house in a whole fantastic mood. I'm like, did he get something from Rochelle? Like, why is he in such a good mood? And then she's like, Daddy, you in a really good mood. Like, I haven't seen, I have not seen you this happy in a while. Like, what's up? He like, don't you know? You call me off the stuff. Like, what's up, baby girl? Whatever. Like, what's the news? All right, Daddy. Okay. I'm going to tell you something and you're not going to like it. He like, okay, what is it? She's like, Rochelle Cross. He's like, oh. you know what? What about it? Just whatever you're going to say, Grace, whatever you're going to say, be sure you know what you're talking about. Daddy, she's Daryl James' daughter. Okay? She is Baze's gang's half-sister. I said, oh, shit. Oh, shit, Bishop. Okay, now, baby. I said, girl... You know you told that man? That man, I am liking the man who he killed daughter. He ain't see it coming. He did not see it coming. And I was like, ooh, my, I wrote, oh, shit, dot, dot, dot. This is what I wrote on my note. I'm like, Lord Jesus. And then May, May go to see Lionel. Because remember, Lionel was calling her to church. And so he opened the door. Lionel, what do you want? Okay, why are you contacting me? I want to talk about my daughter. I said, oh, shit. Dot, dot, dot. I said, oh, the tea. Run it over. Okay. So I was like, your daughter. So that's it. Okay. Grace is Lionel's daughter. May had a whole. May. May, May, May. I can't even pause on this. May up here mad at Bishop for having a part-time uh, affair with her sister when she had a full-time affair with his friend and had a whole baby. A whole baby. And that's why she don't like Grace. Because Grace ain't Bishop's daughter. Mm, mm, mm. Which means that Grace's sister Charity's ex-husband who's gay is now married to Grace's half-brother. And you know, and you know you don't like to say, well, how come Grace and, uh, Char not like Grace, Charity and Jacob is a bit darker skinned, okay? And Grace was a bit lighter skinned. It's because she had a whole different daddy. But, could Charity, not Charity, could Faith be his daughter? I doubt it only because he wouldn't want to talk about a dead daughter. You know what I'm saying? If a man died and on his dying bed, he don't care about talking about a dead daughter. He won't talk about his last living daughter. Grace is Lionel's kid. Oh, and that's why it had to be a secret all these years. Oh, and I wonder if Bishop know. And that's another reason why he can't forgive um, Lionel because he know that Grace may not be his child and he don't want to say nothing and that's why he pissed, pissed, pissed off. But I'm like made it going through all this machugana. All this machugana. And you had a whole baby on Bishop. Mm. Mm -mm. I said oh shit dot dot dot. I'm telling you. So we then see Jacob and Carissa at the house calling, 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 calling Tasha. And Tasha not answering. And he like, you know, she not answering the phone. He like, well, she probably didn't skip town. I can't believe you did. I, Jacob, I cannot believe you did this again. Okay? He like, look. <laughs> he said, look, I barely did anything. Oh, don't you come with them damn excuses. Keep calling her. I want her to be scared. Okay? And you, you, you need some help. Because you have a whole problem. He like, I agree. I agree with that. So over at Tasha's house, we see her ignoring the phone calls. But she also, a little bit still drunk, a little bit asleep. But she then hear, bang, 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 bang. Someone's banging on her door, and she knows Rochelle. Rochelle, get the hell out of here, now I told you, go away. Tasha, open the door, Tasha. I told you, go ahead on, Rochelle. Tasha, open the door. All right, you don't want to listen. Tasha gets up off that couch grabs a lamp. I'm like, you finna beat Rochelle ass with a lamp? Okay. I told your ass to leave me alone. She opened the door. You got five seconds. You got five seconds to get from around here. Okay, get on around here. Uh, Rochelle back away. 
Hey, baby. It's Basie. Basie. Oh, my God. Basie. And she go to touch his face. And he move her hand. He kiss her hand or whatever. And he's, she's just like, Basie, it's you. Basie, it's you. And he walking her in the house and back into the corner and back into the wall or whatever. She back, back, back it up. Back, back, back it up or whatever. And Rochelle come in too. He was like, I heard you've been a bad girl. I said, oh. Is they gonna kill Tasha? I just need to know if they gonna kill Tasha and try to blame it on what's gonna go on, Lord. And that's how I went off when I put again. Oh shit. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. So that was my review of Green Leaf. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. Peace. It's like love, 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 and music.